Hello kids, today we will be talking about carbon sequestration. Now don't worry, I know that's a fancy word. My name is Froilin Sequera and I am from St. Xavier's College. And today slowly and steadily, you will learn how to save your planet. So we are going to start with global warming. What is global warming? Global warming is the term that is used to describe the rising average temperatures of our planet Earth. In other words, it's the process of our planet completely heating up. In the last century, the Earth has warmed up by an average of 1.1 degrees Celsius, which might not sound like a lot, but it will have a big impact on the people and animals of this planet in the near future. Next, I'm going to talk about the impact of global warming. It is assumed that by the end of the 21st century, global warming is likely to cause an increase in the Earth's temperature to 2 to 5 degrees Celsius. And this change in climate will make our weather more erratic. It will bring about deserts, droughts, forcing many species into extinction which will make life much, much harder for all of us. But the important question is, what causes global warming? Why is this heating happening? Now, the main factors responsible for the change in climate are called greenhouse gases. What generates greenhouse gases, may you ask? Human activities such as burning of fossil fuels, driving gasoline cars, and increase in industries and factories, they all generate greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are mainly carbon dioxide, CO2, methane, CH4, and nitrous oxide, N2O. These are the main three greenhouse gases that are being emitted by our planet. Now, these gases act like a blanket, covering our planet, trapping the sun's heat and increasing temperatures. Not only that, deforestation is another huge reason for global warming. As we all know, trees absorb huge amounts of carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen back into the atmosphere. But sadly, Many trees are being cut down for furniture, paper, clearing roads and habitation purposes. Humans are slowly deforestating our planet and the lesser number of trees, the more carbon dioxide in the air, leading to more global warming, which is going to kill us in the near future. Now the crucial question is, what can you do to prevent global warming? How can you save your planet? So the step one is go walking, use a bicycle or use public transport for traveling instead of using private cars and vehicles. This will limit the emission of greenhouse gases, the burning of fuels and will hence save your planet. The second step is planting as many trees as we can and being the superheroes that we are all meant to be. Trees, as we discussed earlier, will absorb all the carbon dioxide and slowly release oxygen back into the atmosphere. Now let's get to our main and final topic for the day. Carbon sequestration. Don't worry, I know it's a fancy word. But sequestering carbon just means removing the carbon dioxide from the air and storing it someplace safe. So as we discussed earlier, atmospheric air consists of CO2, CH4 and N2O. Now the first step for carbon sequestration is removing the carbon dioxide. Then it is transported and injected back into the soil. So under the right conditions, the captured carbon dioxide can be stored in the soil. Hence, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere decreases 
and oxygen can be increased by planting more trees. The carbon dioxide emission levels of our planet are slowly and steadily increasing. Our planet is getting hotter and hotter every day. The polar ice is melting. Carbon sequestration is a very, very important topic and we must all study it to save our own futures. That is the end of our presentation. I hope this presentation was informational. You can write your queries on this Gmail. Thank you so much.